What's going on, man? We are back again with another video, man. Today, we are here to talk about the Los Angeles Lakers. Yesterday, we did a Cleveland Cavaliers preview. Um, Y'all gave that a lot of love. I feel like I talked a, a good amount in that video um, about how I feel we should be. I don't think I made a real prediction, so I'm going to make it right now. I think we can be like a first or a second round team. I think we can get out the first round. I really don't see us making the Western, the Eastern Conference Finals if we do, it happens, but I, I, I don't see it happening. But for the Lakers, we're going to do the same thing, just a little preview of the team and how I think we're going to do this this year. So let's just get straight into it. Now, when you just look at our team, it's obviously really top heavy. And like when, it's, when I say top heavy, I, like, I mean it, like super top heavy, especially because we have two top 10 players at the top. And then we have a um, Russell Westbrook. I don't even know if I wanted to name him. <laughs> I'm going to just name the two top 10 players. We still got AD and we still got LeBron. So it's really top 10, top heavy, but then when you look at the rest of the lineup, me personally, I just don't have no faith in it at all. Um, like towards the back of the lineup, like look at the lineup. We have Thomas Bryant, um, Damian Jones, Kendrick Nunn, Alex Reeves. That's, I don't even think, Austin Reeves, um, Lonnie, Lonnie Walker, Juan Toscano Anderson. Like we have a bad roster. Like, it's really bad. It's really bad. Like when we look at our starting lineup, I think we're going to start uh, Russell Westbrook, Pat Bev, LeBron, Anthony Davis, and Thomas Bryant, which that's a decent lineup. But I also hear that Darvin Ham has the leeway to put Russell on the bench, which I also wouldn't be opposed to because if we can start a lineup of LeBron, Austin Reeves, Pat Bev, of course they're not, Pat Bev not going to play the three. But on offense, LeBron is going to be the point. And then we have Thomas Bryant and Anthony Davis at the back end. I wouldn't mind that. I think LeBron goes right back to what he was doing in 2020, leading the league in assists, um, being the best overall. If you count what he played, he was the point guard that season, being the best point guard in the league. I could see that happening. So I wouldn't mind either or lineup because, like, yo, what do we have? We don't really, we really don't have any options. Like, this is a terribly, terribly built team, and I – it's Rob Palenka's fault and it's LeBron's fault because y'all wanted Russell Westbrook now we're stuck with him and we're holding on to this 2027 pick I still don't know why we're holding on to that because we can have a lineup of LeBron Buddy Hill um fucking Pat Bev at the three and then have Miles Turner and AD like I don't know why we're holding on to that pick just like why are we doing that I, if you know let me know I don't know why we're holding on to that pick but when, when we're looking at this team I just I don't see where we can do or where we can go. As far as the regular season, I think we'll be decent. Like, if there's no injuries, of course, you're going to get some injuries. Um, like, tick and tack injuries, you're going to get that. But, like, if there's no major injuries, I still think a team led by LeBron and AD. Like, AD is a big part of this. A, a team led by LeBron and AD can be a playoff team or the, at the least a play-in team. Like, I think our ceiling is the 6 seed and our floor is like the 11 seed like we were last year. But other than that, I don't think I don't think we're going to be that bad of a regular season team because like I told you on my predictions video, <clears throat> I still have LeBron in the MVP race. I have him going head to head with Steph Curry. I didn't pick him running yet, but I just think um off of last year missing the playoffs and then the year before that having a bad playoffs, it's going to be a lot of motivation coming out of LeBron. Um, this is the year that he's also going to pass Kareem. He's going to act like he doesn't know that's going to happen, but like he pays attention to that stuff. He's on, he's on Instagram. He's on Twitter. He knows that stuff's coming up, so he's going to pass Kareem. And I just think he sees all the stuff that's going on as far as all the memes, um, all the people coming at him because we didn't make the playoffs. We didn't even make the play-in. So I think we're going to have a very motivated LeBron. And then speaking of motivated, I feel the same way with Anthony Davis. You barely played last season. <laughs> he probably got a million DMs calling him a Disney or uh, any other nickname that he has because he gets hurt literally every play. It's, it's hard being a Lakers fan, especially with AD. Because I, I, I love AD, man. I really do. But, like, that injury shit is true. Like, this is always coming at the wrong time. Like, luckily, we got our championship out of AD. But, like, uh, we need a healthy year from AD. Now, I'm not going to do what a lot of people do. And I don't understand this. I'm not going to put that MVP title on, KD, uh, on AD yet. I don't even know who AD is anymore. What I mean by that is, when he came to us, that nigga was so dominant and so crazy. And then when we're looking at these last two years, where he's shooting the ball terribly, he keeps getting hurt, he's barely playing in the season, um, and he's not playing like MVP AD like he was in 2020, 20, 2019, 2020, 
Like, I don't know what AD we're going to get. A lot of people are putting him in the MVP race and in the defense player of the year race off that 2020 season, but they don't realize that was two years ago. I would much rather put LeBron in the MVP race because we've seen him since the 2020, 2020 season dominate. But, like, with AD, we barely seen him play basketball since that season. And when he was playing, he was nowhere near that. No, that AD was arguably top five. This AD is, he's arguably top ten. So, I'm not going to be the one to put him up there with those guys, like with the Giannis and the Jokic's as far as the MVP. But I am expecting a way better season that we've seen the last two years. I just don't know if we're going to get that AD that's going to put him all the way up there. Now, the whole Russell Westbrook thing. I'm actually, I'm just interested to see a healthy season of them three together. I know it's not going to fit, but, like, we got them. <laughs> we can't turn back now. We got them. So, I just want to see how that's going to fit. Um, I'm really interested to see how Darberham uses him. Um, he's talking about using him as a defender, um, making him active all ball, which really needs to happen. If Russell wants to win a championship, he has to learn how to do other things to win a championship, and that's something he just hasn't learned yet. But with Darberham, the way he's talking – Maybe he can get him to play off ball more. Maybe he, he can get him to be a better defender because that's what we need. Um, I'm not going to keep here and keep praying on that shooting to come around. Motherfucker been in the league for 14 years. Always been an okay shooter. Now he's terrible. I don't expect it to go back to okay. Um, as long as we get like 33, 34% for us, we can be cool. But I'm expecting a decent season for us. I think Russ had a decent season last year. And I think it was kind of disrespectful for a lot of people to come at Russ because like, if Russ was on a different team, we wouldn't be coming at him like this. Like, if he was still on that Washington Wizards team, we would be looking at that team totally different. A lot of people would have him in the playoffs because Russ is still a good player. If you watch basketball, you just know this is not a good fit for Russ. So I'm not going to down Russ like y'all doing. I just, me personally, I can't do that. Now, with Pat Bev, I love Pat Bev, and I, and I love the addition of Pat Bev because one thing we missing, we was missing, even when we had the big three last year, was a heart and soul guy, a guy that was willing to dive on the floor, pick up a tag, pick up a foul, a guy that was willing to guard the other team's best player. We never had that. So adding that in Pat Bell, we already seen what he can do to a franchise. Did it in Clip in the, at the Clippers. He changed their whole franchise. He he had help over there. But like <laughs> in Minnesota, he changed their franchise. He changed the culture around there. I think he's gonna play a big part of our culture change at the Lakers, and I think he's going to help us win more games. I, I don't think his playoff streak is going to end this year. I think we will make the playoffs, and I think he will be a big part of that. Um, as far as the offensive side, he's always been a decent shooter, so I'm not really worried about that. Um, they shoot 37%. That's all we really need. We need shooting, and we don't really have that. As far as the bench, our bench is fucking terrible. Like, Austin Reeves had a decent rookie season, and I'm not going to lie, I only watched 30 Lakers games last year. Like, I watched the first 30 games, and I was interested, but, like, as soon as we started losing... And, like, AD got hurt. Russ was playing terrible. And, like, we was the face of the league as far as getting clowned. I was like, yeah, fuck this. I'm going to watch my Cavs. My Cavs just dominate. I'm going to watch that. But, like, the games I watched, Austin Reeves was decent. I just don't like him starting. So, I hope that doesn't happen. Same thing with Lonnie Walker. Like, he's all right. He's the definition of on and off. Um, Juan Toscano Anderson, I literally have no expectations. Like, he looks, he's just a Warriors player. Like, this is going to be a make or break year for him personally if he's a real NBA player because when the Warriors, he just fit the system so perfectly. But with us, I, I don't know what the fuck we're going to get. Thomas Bryant, I'm really excited, though. I'm really excited for Thomas Bryant, especially in the pick and roll with LeBron, pick and roll with Russ. I think we have a good enough team so where that whole narrative war was last year was when LeBron's not playing, Russ can get you some games. I don't think we had a good enough team to do that. This year, when LeBron's not playing, I think we have a decent enough team for Russ to go out there and get us some games. Because when Russ is the number one, I think he's still capable of getting us some games. So last year, I just didn't think that. But other than that, I just I don't know what to expect from this team. I don't know. Like you see in the title, it says, can we be contenders? Like, hell no. <laughs> I told my thumbnail guy, that was a W clickbait, click but like, fuck no. I don't see us beating none of the top five. We can't beat New Orleans. We can't beat the Nuggets. We can't beat the Clippers. We damn sure can't beat the um, Warriors. Can we even beat the Suns? No, I don't see us being the Suns. Can we beat the fucking Mavericks? No, I don't even see. I don't even think we can beat the Timberwolves. We're that bad. 
<laughs> like I, I trust LeBron, but I, I, I can't put him over the Warriors. I can't put him over the Clippers. Hell no. I can't put him over the Nuggets. Jokic is just a different monster. And for sure, I just can't put him over the Pelicans. I think the Pelicans is scary. We're going to get a Pelicans video tomorrow. Shout out to my thumbnail guy because you made a really good thumbnail of them. But we're getting a Pelicans video tomorrow. But I just don't think we can fuck with any team above us as far as in the playoffs. So um, the ceiling for us, like I said, could be a Western Conference Finals. But I just... That's just me putting all my faith into LeBron, and then hopefully we get AD, who's an all-time player or performer. But other than that, I, I think we're going to be bad. <laughs> like, I think we're going to be one of the worst seven seeds we ever seen of all time. And when we get to the playoffs, if we get out to play in, we're going to suck. So let me know how y'all think I did with this video. I was stuttering. I'm tired of shit, bro. It's my third video I recorded today, man. I'm, I'm locking in. So shout out to y'all, man. I'll talk to y'all later. Peace out.